this is a quick demo of how I'm uh, interpreting the signal off the HDK sensor of the VP37 uh, diesel pump. Um, rather than look at the differential between the reference and the um, sense side of it, is I'm looking at the absolute inductance as the heart, as the short circuit ring moves up and down the, uh, the solenoid. Um, for that, I'm using uh, a relaxation oscillator, a very simple circuit. It's the third one I've tried uh, to get stability, so this is uh, actually quite a stable circuit. Um, so it's an op amp, some booster transistors, and then the feedback, which is uh, measured as the inductor. And this changes in frequency as the um, inductance of the inductor changes, and of course that changes as the short circuit ring moves up and down the sensor. Um, the second part of the circuit is a, a comparator. Uh, and that simply turns it into a digital signal and then because it has open collector output uh, then scales it for 5 volts which goes into the uh, input of timer 5 of the Arduino Mega. Um, the setup I have is uh, this is just a MOSFET output stage from another project that I've commandeered for this. This is the actual circuit as you can see it's very small few resistors one surface mount chip. Uh, the chip I'm using is an LM392 uh, and that's not uh, a dual op amp it's an op amp and a comparator so you have to be quite careful uh, which pin to connect it to otherwise you'll have the wrong part of the chip operating for you. Um, this has given me quite a stable signal so to demonstrate as I move the lever from minimum to maximum uh, that's the signal within it within the circuit, minimum, maximum, we're getting about 50% change on the output, which is a clear um, a clear signal to take a, a reference from. Um, so that's the signal going up and down. Using some library functions in the code, um, oh, you've, I've changed screens, where's it gone? There it is. Um, I've altered the code so instead of having the analog input from the resistive um, type pickup I'm using a timer function which is a standard library and if it can focus then there's the QA um, feedback uh, going up and down as my signal goes up and down. It looks to be fairly linear relationship between the movement of the lever and the output going up and down. I've yet to, to measure that and do some tests. Um, what I have is I have a, I don't know if that, that shows, I have a little protractor I'm going to put on the lever and then when I move that up and down I can look at the actual angle and then compare that to the percentage of the, the reading. To, to let me know if that's a, a linear response from my super simple circuit. Um, so that's how I've gone about sorting it, all with uh, one chip and a few resistors.